Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Hi, it's KK, the man on the street from the Metal Voice, and I'm with former members from Riot, from the first album Riot, Rock City, Lou Cavaris, and from the next four or five albums, guitarist Rick Ventura. We're uh, going to talk tonight about your new band, The Riot Act. How'd that come about, guys? How did... uh, it came about uh, due to Riot 5, actually. <laughs> it came about... <laughs> We sort of came, uh, Mike Flintz was kind of to invite me um, to a show at B.B. King's and I got to play Swords of Tequila and Warrior after so many years. I think I was at that show. Yeah, yeah and it just escalated and then Lou was invited, you went to Japan. I went to Japan in 2015. Okay, and you did a little tour with them? And a little tour with them and uh, it was very great, they were very gracious. and. The rest is history. And then you got into the Hall of Heavy Metal History, That's and you guys were both there for that. They invited right. you back again, correct? Yeah, yeah, that was that. Good. And, and then the year before that, I was in Japan. We did the Fire Down Under oh, album. That's right. I think I saw videos of it. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. You know, after all the years playing those songs, so it sort of lit a fire under both of our butts. Now, you guys are both on the <laughs> island now, Long Island. Yes, is that how it came about? And you've yes. both been playing still? For but years? I, I want to put on the record, I did ask Rick back in 2011 to do this. <laughs> but uh, I was doing something. It was, he was doing something, whatever, but still. <laughs> and then I told him a little bit after that, but it took it took the ride five people to but you guys were on some classic albums and yes oh course. yeah and did you keep playing over the years after i mean you sure. left in 78 and you left 70, in 79, the yeah, mid 80s yeah, yeah. right mid 80s yeah, yeah always con always continued it was uh, uh the history of riots it's, so it's amazing i've loved them yeah, since the beginning crazy crazy yeah. story it's great to see you guys playing though and keeping the first three albums alive yeah, is yeah. that where you're taking your your core music from tonight yeah yeah we're doing the first three albums okay. and uh you know, uh, like like uh, you said before, Rick's on a few more albums than I am. I, but uh, I did the first record, but the second album, I did write four songs on the second album. album. But uh, I didn't get to play on it because... So he actually replaced you, kind of? Yes, he did. He was my replacement. Okay, there you go. So I got to play the songs that, that he wrote. <laughs> but I never got credit for. <laughs> he never got credit for. <laughs> so, so now, you know, tonight, that's what we'll be doing, playing those tunes that... Uh, how how the name come about? Well, somebody was saying, I think he, it might have been you or Paul, we were talking about it, he goes, you know, somebody says they're going to they're gonna review the Riot Act. I said, that's a great name for a band. Yeah, it just came about and like that. And it fits. And it fits, yeah. just came about, yeah. Okay. And I, from what I hear, the guys on Riot 5 have no problem. They kind of support no, you guys. Yeah, they really even great. come down and jam with you guys, Yeah, right? yeah. yeah we, uh, last week, Mike came up and did Warrior with us. Yeah, Good. it's like a, and, it's a, a with, Riot uh, family, it seems. It's, and Tammy, too, his girlfriend. Yeah, right. That's right. Nice. Back of vocals on oh, really? Great yeah, singer. yeah. Great singer. Great singer Tammy. Amazing. Good. Now, any plans to uh, record new music? Go out on tour? What's your What's yeah, your plans yeah, with this vehicle? Yeah. Well, we 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 we're gonna do some kind of an album thing, and you know, re resurrect some of the old, but also re record some new. Uh, Rick and I have tons of material. I think we can probably collaborate. Yeah, it's and, uh, it's about getting new material, not yeah. just playing old right. stuff. But right now, we're doing that because. People want to hear new, it. It's new. They yeah, do. It's new, and they, they want to hear it. Yeah. You know, Lou and I never worked together. We never played on the same stage together. So Look to playing those songs, thing. it's fun. It's uh, we're having a blast. You know, it, we just it sort of reminds you how great those songs were and the intensity, and it just you know just comes around again. It's great to see you guys back, though, and uh, good luck tonight, and Thank have a you. great set. Thank you so much, Kenny. And uh, can you tip Thanks. us off with anything in the set? Or is anything going to be... Uh... Uh, uh, let's see, we got about six off the first album, four off the second album, and about seven on the yeah, Fire Down Other album. Yeah, we're touch, touching on every of those first three records Let's put it this way. So far. If you're a fan, you'll know them all. Good. Yes. And we can expect some new stuff... Within a couple of years. Right? Oh yeah, no, no sooner than that. Yeah, That's so even better. I don't want to pry. That. I want to pry, but uh, yeah, I think, uh, it's coming soon. Than that. By, the end, by the end of I'll this come year. back and talk to you. Definitely. 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 Thanks for everything tonight, guys. Okay.
the man on the street from the Metal Voice, and I'm with uh, two gentlemen from Riot, guitarist Nick Lee, and guitarist, longtime guitarist Mike Flint. Hello there. First of all, I'd like to thank you for uh, carrying the torch for so many years. You oh, guys are doing an excellent job, Riot 5. Thank you. And uh, what do you got uh, in the can lately? New DVD well, we are, got, we're writing new songs for a new album. We're starting the recording process. We have uh, DVD just got uh, released today in Japan. What's the name of that one? Live in Japan. Live in Japan, we did the whole Thunder Seal set. Oh, well, the whole album. And a Very set good. of, you know, our newer songs and old Riot songs. Yeah, we have one, you know, one show was basically our new stuff. And we came out for a second show the same night. And uh, Thunder Seal record, right? From mm -hmm. start to finish. Yeah, front to back. Yeah. And you got some new stuff coming out in uh, 2020, probably? 2020 release, yes. Uh, we have a lot of songs written. We usually write about 20, 20 something songs. Nick has some, some music. You know, uh, of course, Donnie and I. And uh, we're going to put it all together and start recording probably within a month. And you do a lot of it here. Uh, this is where a lot of Riot albums were created, correct? Yeah, this is where we write the stuff. And this is the actually the rehearsal room. Small, quaint. Uh, you might recognize. Uh, there's a picture of Mark Reale from the Immortal Soul record standing right in between Paul and Bob Dylan. If you look at the Immortal Soul record, um, you'll see pictures against oh, the, the, You'll recognize this wall here, yeah. And when you go home, look at, look at your album. So this is where uh, yeah, we always uh, you know, rehearsed here. The Flint's Hotel slash rehearsal studio, we call it. It's great that you carry it. Because the guys come, you know, the guys live in Texas and Jersey. Yeah, half, your, half your band's in San Antonio. So they right? come here yeah. and well, where's the they sleep from? here. He lives in Michigan. He's a Michigan. So Saginaw. Mike. So you guys are well rounded. Yeah. All... Saginaw, Michigan. We're all over the place. Just me and Nick here on the island. That's it. And you've been here for forever because you were in since '89, right? Yeah, I've been in, I've been uh, on Long Island since. I was born in Brooklyn, so I feel, you know, like the original, you know, found, founding members of uh, Riot were all born in Brooklyn. Well, how'd you meet Mark? I met Mark because I, would, I was going to school and I, I befriended a guy named John Dunn who wound up to be Mark's first cousin. So I, I knew of Riot and I had Fire Down Under and I said, oh, you're his cousin, wow. So we started going to shows together. I used to get Riot's autograph back in the day at Lemoore's. Sounds familiar. <laughs> we would go, so John and, John and I would go to shows. and. Um, He's actually John Dunn, his first cousin, has a younger brother, Kevin Dunn, who, the drummer for Daryl Hall. He's always playing at, the, oh, cool. at, at uh, where you at just At Daryl's house, yes. Daryl's house. was the other night, yeah. Yeah, when you see the guy with the baseball hat playing drums, that, that's, I'll have to go say hello. that's uh, <laughs> Brian Dunn, John's brother. Okay. Uh, they're all first cousins with Mark Reale. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you go back away with them, so. Yeah, I joined in 89. You're touring for Th Thundersteel, correct? Yeah. I started with, yeah, it's, we're coming up with the 30th anniversary of me joining. Wow. And that's what we're celebrating in Japan in October. We're going back to Japan uh, the first weekend of October to celebrate 30 years anniversary of Club Cheetah, which is where oh, we, cool. yeah, where we, uh, And you got Nick involved, uh, yeah, uh, Nick joined two albums ago, at least. He's been in how many, yeah, five well, years? Yeah, it's five years now, 2014. <laughs> February was the first shows that I played with. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Fourteen. Yes, it's been over. Yeah, when Mark passed, I said, you know, we can't, we can't replace Mark. So I said, you know, I've been work, I've been playing with Nick for ten years. A good choice. As a student. Thanks. There's nobody who could play. I learned to play like Mark. From Mark playing with Mark for twenty something years, and Nick learned to play like me. So I figured, you know, we had a lot of offers. I'm not going to mention names. I said one to you before, but Don't there were a lot of people that's who us. wanted to step in. They got a lot of phone calls. I'm, I'll step in, and uh, I didn't, I didn't want any star or any normal shredder. It had to be somebody from within. So I, I think that's how Ryan always kind of did things. So yeah, was a good, good move. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's how I joined the band through being cousin. You know, Mark, friends with Mark's cousin. So there are funny parallels too, because you told me you joined when you were 24. In 1989, I was born in 1989, and then joined when I was when 24. When he was 24, when you were 24. Nice. We have a lot of weird parallels like that, yeah. All right, guys, so Japan tour coming up. You got stuff the first coming thing, up. The first thing we have to do is we have, we're going to go to Europe. we got a, a couple of festivals, and we have some club shows in between. We're doing Sabaton Open Air and a bunch of other ones. That's club dates in between this month, August. 
then, and then yeah, October, Japan, and in between all these, you know, we just some, we're just rehearsing and uh, sending songs back and forth, and we start recording probably uh, a little bit be before the Japan and after the Japan is when we start the recording process for the new record. Good. Not to, we don't have a title yet. Looking also forward to, to it. Back to Europe in November. And November we'll do another three weeks in in the Europe, wow. and hopefully, uh, you know, be well into the. Recording process by December and deliver in January, yeah, February. We hope to hear it in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for letting me in your house. Thank you, Jimmy. We love you. Thanks, Jamesy.